Yeah, g'day guys. Just a quick one before this video starts. Um, the buck I'm talking about in this video is a buck that I actually, if you look back at my last rut series, he's a buck I shot. I rattled in and shot. And then, yeah, just couldn't freaking find him. I had Haynes out with me, so we shot him. Everything looked really good, eh? Hey? And then he jumped off in the scrubs. I thought, right, I'll leave him. I'll go try and get Haynes here, buck. And um, yeah, he managed the arrow one, but we never found that one either. But then um, we went back, it rained in between, went back, couldn't really find any blood whatsoever. My arrow was like sort of just hanging out of him. It was caught on the offside from the shot with um, Ida Fletcher's, but never found the arrow. And then, yeah, this episode just this morning, I just found him. And um, actually I went back, I went to Fiji after that with the family. And when I got back, I checked my crown cams out here. It's sort of like the end of the rut. And he was on him. And I'm like, he's croaking already. It's only been oh, four or five days since I shot him. So yeah, he's, they're that tough and full of testosterone and all that, I reckon, bloody through the rut, that he survived. It. And then just to be 80 meters off him, I was this morning, was absolutely incredible. So yeah, he's still alive and well, it makes me so freaking happy. But anyway, letting you guys know, that's the buck I'm talking about for all years that don't know. So anyway, uh, sit back and enjoy the episode. Yeah, hey, g'day guys, welcome back. Um, it's Saturday morning. We had a mad cold snap, minus two last night, and top of nine today. I was up on the lookout, really high point where I glass, and I spotted a heap of deer out here. A couple of good bucks too, I noticed. So we've got a good win. We're just getting down here now. So yeah, I don't know, with a, with a rifle, they'd be a sure thing. But yeah, as we know, I'm a bow hunter, so nothing's ever a sure thing. But anyway, we've got my big camera. Hopefully I can get some clips of these boys. Very hard walking in on them because it's all open. But anyway, we'll just slowly sneak down. Wind's really good. Um, Hopefully I don't bump anything out on the way down. Hopefully I don't need a car coming. We've parked fair few, about 500 metres away, so I doubt they heard a car. Anyway, yeah, it's a heap of young deer with them, because it's that time of year. Mums have kicked all their um, fawns off. They're all yearlings now anyway. As they'll be getting ready soon to give birth. As it warms up in the summer, they'll be giving birth to a new one, so just creep down here and um, yeah, see if we can get some footage of these animals. Yeah, I've had some wild, windy, wet weather the last couple of days, so that would have kept all the deer pretty well battered up, so they'd be hungry. They'd be very hungry, it's the only way they're going to warm up. they are staying out longer and eating more, so they should be out for a fair while, I'd say, as long as they don't get disturbed. Can't see them yet because of all these trees in the way. I can see some there. There's, there's a few there, right? I'm going to get a bit closer and try and work out a good position because there's a lot out here. There's probably 20 deer out here, 15 to 20, and that's a lot of eyeballs. So I'm just going to work out a quick game plan which way I'm going to approach this. Now. 
take his meek a chance of run at him. Like to really get close in a good position. I'm gonna follow the fence line because I know they're gonna jump the fence to go into that scrub up there. So I'm gonna go follow up that fence line. There's about 20 young ones that have got to get past that are a bit spooky at the minute. But there's three good bucks, two exceptional bucks, and one handy one. And one that's just awful, but they're all calm still. So there he is, look at the size of that guy. Yeah, nice heads, very nice heads. Um, so yeah, we're just going to let him go. I don't know how far I got to him. I would have just started meandering off eating. They're 200, so yeah. But anyway, it's just, yeah, they're really starting to really slowly move over. So I'm going to pull the camera up. I'm going to get across this bloody creek, which is about 20 foot friggin' deep. And um, yeah, we'll try and move up and see if I can get a bit closer to them. What I'm trying to do is figure out where they're going to hop the fence and come in here. That's what I'm trying to figure out because then I can set up an ambush. I just haven't come across a really good badge yet from that direction. So I need to do. I need to find that bad. And when I find it, I'll set up off it with the wind in my face. I'm gonna keep poking along. And every time I can see through the trees, I'll lift my binos up and see if I can't see anything. Spooked out, but I can't do anything now. 
hear about this. No way I can get them to come this way, I don't think. We've just got to sit and watch and pray that they want to bed up here and not over there. I don't know, the wind's coming from there, but they're probably walking into it. That's where they want to be. But they're just going over that damn wall now. They're walking along it. God, I hope they want to bed up here. They're following some stupid young one. That's a problem. There's yeah, some young one running around like a fool. That's what's setting them all off. Sorry, guys, I was just pointing at that tree. I'm just, yeah, oh, so close, man. 80 metres, the range finds a set horse. And I'm in such a good position to shoot if they come this way. There's just a bit of barbed wire here on the top that I saw of it's tangled up. So it's like bush down, so that's a good spot that they're jumping over. But yeah, they're on the dam now, so I have no idea what's going on. I let out one um, doe call. So if, if they thought there was something up here, that it's just a doe. You know, like a fawn sort of call I did, so they've all calmed down, they're eating again. God, I hope they come back up here because I can't run across there. Anyway, we'll just see what they do. That's all we can do right now. Ah, oh, well, that's the end of it, guys. They moved off the back of that, um, off the back of that damn wall out there into that scrub behind them. Yeah, they didn't bed up here today. <coughs> that's right, that's so cool. I'm so stoked he's here. Like, he, he lives here, so... They still got antlers on them. My eyes are watering like all buggery. I've been straying on the bloody binos for that long. Probably been half an hour since I last checked in with you. Yeah, bloody. We'll walk back out through the scrub here. And, um, yeah. Get back to the ute. I'm gonna get going. I've got to take one of my boys to a birthday party today, so I better get back home. Yeah, how cool is that? That big fella's still alive. He's here. He's healthy. Um, yeah, that was just so weird in the rut, just the testosterone they got, eh, and the adrenaline, they're just, they're so friggin' like, much tougher in the rut. I am really stoked, guys, so stay tuned, we're going to be hunting him hard. It's good that we didn't spook him out. Some of it was a bit spooky over that way. I don't know what the hell that was. But anyway, it's good, they've walked off on their own accord into bed, so the bucks haven't been pushed about. So anyway, guys... Um, stay tuned, I'm not sure if I'll end the episode here, or we just carried on to my next hunt out here. Oh, how good was that? Like, I was 80 metres from that deer. Getting to see those deer just do their thing. Even if you don't kill them, like just watching them. You learn so much about them. Just sitting back and just, you know, studying their behaviours and what they do. And, oh, it's just incredible. Like, that made my friggin' week. Anyway, we're gonna come back, we'll give him a few days. And um, yeah, we'll come back, just gotta keep studying the wind. From what I can gather, the way I moved in then was the way to go. Because you can only come into this paddock one way and you can't really walk around and come in the other way on them unless you come in from that top side, but then you still got the same amount of opening. Like you sort of need that west wind from the south. And um, yeah, that makes this paddock possible to hunt other than that you can't really hunt today eh? we'll keep persevering with this spot i think and um hopefully it pays off one day and we put him on the ground if not oh well hopefully we can come out here and search for his antlers because they're not far off dropping them eh? and then um yeah after that it'll be rat time again before you know it and um yeah we'll get to see what he looks like next year could be even bigger and better i reckon so yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Anyway guys, thanks heaps again, and we'll see how we get on with him.